sweet hey guys so I'm gonna go over some basic electrical tools that you want to have if you are wanting to do electrical work around the house okay first of all some pliers and side cutters these are both made by Nipix so you want side cutters because they're just so easy to cut stuff with um, and stripping cable yes yeah, sideies for stripping cable and cutting cable I use pliers for all sorts of stuff you need to twist cable and fold cable with these basically next definitely a multimeter doesn't matter what one you go for don't go for a real cheapy because they can fail or they can show you false readings best one to go for would probably be a hundred dollars plus electrical wholesalers might uh, probably sell the best ones but not the cheapest ones I'll be doing a video uh, soon on the functions of these that you would usually use right next tools are screwdrivers there are a range of screwdrivers you can get but these are my four most used ones uh, that I take in my tool belt I try and keep my tool belt as light as possible so first of all I've got a big flathead really only comes in use when I'm when I need to whack something and chisel something you can also open stuff with it it does all sorts of stuff if you put your mind to it square head number two all wood screws are square head so I recommend that a posi so this isn't a Phillips it's a posi screwdriver so that's what a posi end looks like on the screwdriver a small flat head uh, this one here I can use on PDL screws you can also undo number two wood screws with it it is size 3 mil 0 0.5 times 3 mil these screwdrivers are rated to a thousand volts AC and they're all manufactured by Weha I've got some Nipix long nose pliers here really handy you don't use them all the time but when you need them you need them good tape measure you go through tape measures like they're going out of fashion so don't spend too much on them obviously a pencil builders pencil to go with that probably got one somewhere here I've just got this small one at the moment you always end up losing them a jib saw you need this everywhere in residential cutting holes in jib installing new sockets switches all round general use when you're buying these jib saws make sure they got a nice sharp tip on them mine snapped off but it works a treat like that yeah good hammer speaks for itself level always use this just for finishing touches making sure everything's level and straight on the walls really handy to have one of those and they're cheap they're like 10 bucks volt sensor I've got no batteries in it it's got a wee flashlight on this so what you do with these is you stick them on sockets or switches and it flashes and makes a buzzing noise when it picks up voltage so you can easily isolate circuits when it stops flashing and making noise and the tip on this is specially designed so it actually fits into the phase terminal on on sockets and stays there for you while you can go away from it and go to the switchboard and switch it on and off these Milwaukee ones are like 40 bucks but they're the best ones I've ever used I actually use them a lot in ceilings too because I find that uh, headlamps tend to die a lot so I just take one of these up with me so a handful of tape and a marker pen for marking stuff out you definitely need a battery drill uh, this Makita one has lasted me five years on the tools it's pretty buggered I'm buying a new one soon but it stood up to its time so I'll definitely be getting another Makita one and then to go with the drill couple of drill bits more often than not you'll be using a power drill if you're doing a whole reno or a big job but for small jobs you can just bust through the dwangs and studs with these I recommend getting 25mm uh, either auger bits or these spade bits spade bits are softer on the drill uh, auger bits are a lot more powerful and they can rip through nails and stuff uh, if you get the right ones and then just a general 10 mil bit for if you need to run one one mil cable and 
you're in a tight spot you you probably won't get a 25 mil in so you can get one of these in and then just wiggle it around a bit make the hole a bit bigger yeah that pretty much is the basics I can go in more depth and go through my whole tool belt and my tool bag and show you every single tool I take with me on jobs but these are just the basic tools that will get you started and well set up you probably got half them lying around your garage yeah I highly recommend insulated screwdrivers for electrical work oh and I suppose I should mention safety glasses and uh, earmuffs don't want to forget those cheers guys cheers for watching <laughs>